Is it possible to use Adobe InDesign to animate? The answer is actually yes. I'll show you how to add some animation to your InDesign project. And I'll also go over some of the limitations of InDesign's animation tools in today's episode of the Expat Animator. Hey, it's Patrick. Welcome to my Expat Animator series, where I try and help beginners, hobbyists, and independent animators create 2D animations. I have a degree in graphic design, and I've been using InDesign for over 20 years now as one of my main tools. If you're unfamiliar with InDesign, it's a page layout program for creating things like magazines, brochures, books, and even graphic novels like this one. Yes, I used InDesign extensively to create my graphic novel trap, and I even used it to create the word bubbles within. If you watched my last video on Adobe Character Animator and you decided to buy that program, then you'll get Adobe InDesign included with your purchase. Even though InDesign is one of my favorite apps ever, I wouldn't think of it as an animation tool. But I recently had a client ask if it was possible to add some animation to a brochure that we were working on. The client did find some information online that InDesign had some animation capabilities in a feature called Publish Online. This was news to me, but I did in fact find out that he was right and you can add animation to your InDesign projects. And there is another reason why you might want to learn InDesign as an animator. And I'm talking about storyboards. I've used InDesign to help me create my storyboards for a lot of projects over the years. And it can be a good tool to help you create your storyboards. But that's a topic for another video. I created a couple of small projects to help demonstrate InDesign's animation capabilities. So let's go ahead and take a look at those now. So here's InDesign, and I'm having to use my 4K monitor to demonstrate this because of all of the work palettes. So what you're going to want to use is you're wanna, going to want to pull up a couple of these extra palettes that uh, you don't normally use in InDesign. And you can get those over here uh, in the, the window and some of the panels over here. Specifically, uh, go down here to Interactive and you'll see Animation. We want that. Uh, EPUB Interactivity Preview. We want that. Uh, maybe buttons and forms. Uh, I'm not going to demonstrate buttons today, but I was using that. Uh, media for sure and timing for sure. So pull up some of these and these are what we're going to be using to to show the capabilities of InDesign's animation features. So this first uh, spread here. So let's take a look. And what I've got here is I've just brought in three uh, PNG files. Uh, so that we get the transparency on them. And as I select them, place them where I want them, we can come up here to animation and you'll see that it shows you the name of the file. And then you get this preset here. This is, this is where a lot of the animation happens here. And again, we're under the animation tab. So if I click this, these are all the options that I get for animating uh, whatever I'm selected on. And so if you look at these, you'll kind of notice that they're kind of similar to things that you would find in like PowerPoint or Apple's Keynote. You know, you've got uh, some basic animation things like, you know, appear, fade in, fly in, grow, shrink, stuff like that. So you just pick whatever you want here. It doesn't really matter. Uh, to demonstrate this, I've chosen on this one, we've got zoom in uh, 2D. And this is kind of showing you what that's going to look like. And then I select this one and I've got a different preset here. I've got fly in from the top. And again, this is kind of showing you a quick animation of what that's going to look like. And then the third one, I've picked a different one. I've got fly in from the right. Now, if I want to see this whole uh, slide as animating it, then we come up here to EPUB Interactivity Preview. And this is a good window to use so that you can see what it's going to look like when it's actually published. And I'll show you that in a second. But so I'm going to hit play here and let's see the what we get. And that's it for this one. It's just the basic animation. I'll go ahead and play it one more time. 
And you can keep tweaking this further with some of these things in the animation panel. You've got duration. You've got the uh, when when this happens. So you can say on page load, like I've got right now, or you can do on page click or on a click or on a rollover. So there's different ways that's kind of like an interactive, not just like watching a video. It's like an interactive uh, final output that you'll you'll see in a second here. So you can change the duration, how long it plays for, if it loops or not. You know, there's a lot of parameters that you can uh, get into and and tweak to make this do what you want it to do. But I just want to show, this isn't really a tutorial. I just want to show you the features, the animation capabilities of InDesign and what it can offer. And so you can see here when I click on this, well, it's kind of hard to see with this, but there's a green line here, and that's showing you the animation uh, coming in from the right to the left. And same thing here, it's coming from the top down. So you can kind of see these keyframes that are actually happening on this line here. And so let's go ahead and take another, uh, actually one more thing before I, I leave this slide. So I've got these three elements and they're all animating. So that's when we want to look to the timing tab over here. And it shows you all three of these um, objects or, or images, but we can we can change the order of these by just dragging one up on top of the other, and that's going to change the order that they animate in. So let's say I want uh, this expat animator logo was the first thing to animate. If I wanted to animate as the last thing, I'm going to drag it to the bottom, and then when I hit play, you're going to see a different order here. So, so that changes the order of the of the way that things animate in. And the other thing that's kind of cool is you can select all of them or just some of your objects here. And if you hit this play together button, then they're all going to animate at the same time. So just some things to think about of what we can do here. And we can also, let's go ahead and take a look at this example. I just brought in an image here and I've got him animating uh, from top to bottom here. So he just kind of disappears off the slide. And to get that, I just used the custom fly out to the bottom, which is in here, fly out and fly out bottom. So just uh, you'll, you'll find different um, ways to animate things. And then this one is an example of this whole thing here is a video that I imported. As I shrink this down, this is just a video. And so if I'm gonna play this slide here in the EPUB interactivity preview, so you can see that it auto played and had the audio that came along with the video. And we can set that to, so that the video keeps looping. We can have it uh, so that it won't play until you click on it. You know, again, there's all different, um, things that we can adjust uh, to have these things play. So when we, when we are happy with, with what we've got here, we can come up here to the top here and there's this button called share. And if I click this, one of the options down here is publish online. And so if I click that, we're going to get this dialogue here and it's gonna give us some options to export this to a website basically, and that's where you share your document, which will have some of the animation in it. So we're not able to, to export as like a video file, but this is the, the output that we can use. So uh, there's not a ton of options here, and real quick here, I'm just gonna hit publish. And you know, we can give it a name or whatever, but so if I hit publish, then what happens is it takes all this information and it uploads it to the internet here. And you can see that happening right here. And when that's done, see it gives, it creates a unique URL that we can copy or we could share it here. And then I can go and open my web browser. So I can open my web browser and I can just paste that in and then we hit enter and it's gonna load our document. And it auto plays uh, that first slide. And if we wanna go to the next slide, 
then we can come over here and hit this arrow here. And there's our next slide. And then our next one. And see how this didn't autoplay? This is a, this is kind of an issue that we've been coming across with our um, project. So I'm going to come over here and hit the play button. And that seems to work. So it sometimes autoplays and it sometimes doesn't, and we can't really figure out why. And I figured, and I found some people online with the same issue. So I think it's a bug. But anyway, that's how this works. And we can come down here and hit this uh, thumbnails, and we can, you know, see our whole document and click on and rewatch things if we want to. So let's get out of here and go back to InDesign. And I want to show you a different um, way to use this. So let's go ahead and bring up a, a sample of my TREP graphic novel. So this is uh, just a couple of pages that I've got here in InDesign. And I've already started adding some animation to this. Uh, and on there's a spread with some stuff going on, and there's another one. And on this final spread, I'm going to show you how to add some of the, the features. So let's go ahead and just play this and see what I've done for the cover. So I've got the different elements kind of animating in. Here, I'll play it one more time. And let me go ahead and publish this. And so we can take a look at this on online in its final form. And then I'm going to make a change, and I'll show you how to update that. So I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to go back to my web browser. And let's place this one in. So you can see the elements kind of fade in and move in from the sides and you know drop the logo drop down from the top. And let's go ahead and go to the next slide and see what happens. Into the next one. So on these two pages, I basically just have the word bubbles fading in from nothing all at the same time. And then I've, as I go to the next page, I'm gonna show you uh, a little different idea where the artwork comes in and then I've kind of got the word bubbles zooming in and let's do that's going to be the same effect on this next page so I think it's kind of a cool effect if you want to show someone your comic book online this might be a, a fun way to do it and now this page I need to add some stuff to it so let me go back to InDesign here and let me just show you what I did here. I was able to select all of the word bubbles and then I can come over here and pick my animation preset. So I picked fade in here. And once I did that, I came down to the timing and I selected everything in the timing and I linked them together. So let's go ahead and look at this last page because I haven't done anything to this yet. Um, so right now I've got all my word bubbles on, or my word balloons on their own layer. So I can, what I could do is I could bring these in one by one, but let's go ahead and just select all of the word bubbles and let's go give it an animation. Let's do a grow and let's see what that looks like. And then I'm gonna, remember I need to come down to my timing, select everything in there and link it up and then when I play this, they should all do the same animation at the same time. Now this grow makes them bigger than what they are here. So I don't really like that. Uh, so I might go ahead and change that to something maybe more like um, fade in. And they're still linked. So let's see what that looks like. And there they go. So I kind of like that effect. But let's say I want to have something uh, happen with the artwork. So I'm going to just go lock this layer and let's go to my artwork and unlock that. And then I can grab my artwork here and then I can add some animation to that. So maybe I want that to do some kind of a bounce or something. Bounce and smush. Let's try that. And then I'll do the same thing. I'll do a, a different one over here. Maybe we'll do dance and then let's just go ahead and play that
So it's not really what I want, but you can kind of see um, the way that you can go about adding some animation to what's otherwise a printed piece. And so let's say I want to just change that real quick here. Let's change the dance to, um, let's do a fade in on both of these real quick here. So I'll just switch this real quick to fade in. Now the problem is these are gonna fade in after all of the text bubbles. Which looks pretty funky. So what I wanna do is I want to take, see down here on our timing, we just wanna drag these to the top of the timing. And then the rest of these, we're gonna select them all and link those up. So we should have page one and two kind of coming in. Actually, let's link those two. So those come in at the same time and then all the word bubbles come in and let's see what that looks like. That's kind of cool, I like that. So then I would save this and then I would come over here and I would publish online, click that again. And this time, instead of publishing a new document, I can update the existing document. So the same link that we used before would be updated with these new edits that we've just made. Another thing I want to do is I want to change from single to a spread because I think this is going to look better online as a spread. Now you can also allow viewers to download the document as a PDF. So if you want them to be able to keep the file or you can hide the share and embed options in the published document. I'm going to publish this as is here and it's saying, are you sure you want to update the existing link? Yes, we do. So let's let that upload here. And here it goes, take a, take a few sec, depending on uh, how big your file is, it'll take longer to upload and your internet speeds. So I don't even need to copy this because it's the same link. So I'm gonna close this, let's go back to the web browser and I should be able to refresh this. And now we should be able to see this in a double page spread once we get past this cover here. So let's go to the next spread. There was some animation, next spread. And there's a different option of animating things in next spread. And, and so that's what the features that we just added was this one. So hopefully you learned something. Uh, I know I did with this, uh, have, as I've been working with this new feature of publish online through Adobe's InDesign. And hopefully maybe you can uh, use it on one of your own projects too. This has been another episode of the Expat Animator. Thanks for joining me today and keep on animating. If you found today's video helpful, you might like some of my animation classes over at Skillshare.com. I'll put the link in the description below.